guys, today I'm going to talk about all of the books I read in January and February. I normally do monthly wrap ups but I didn't do one in January because I didn't have chance to film till like mid-February and I thought people tend to not like when you randomly upload a wrap up like halfway through the month so I thought I would just combine the two months especially because I didn't read that much but that's because I've been reading some pretty big books and was in a little bit of a slump but I'm out of that now and what I have been reading I've been really enjoying. The first book I read in January was Mr Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. I really really enjoyed this book, I gave it 5 stars and I think it's a brand new favourite. It took me a little while to get into this at first but basically the overall premise is that there's a boy who has lost his marketing job and he sees and he's desperately seeking a job and he sees an advertisement for a like overnight clerk at this 24-hour bookshop so he goes for it and it is run by Mr Penumbra and people randomly come in late at night and at random times looking for very specific titles in this almost like restricted section so there's kind of this underlying mystery about why these people want these books and things like that and he gets a girlfriend who works at Google and they slowly start to uncover the mysteries and it all kind of goes from there so it partly focuses on this like mystery element which I really really loved but also it's kind of about like technology and books and how they're permanent but how technology can both like embellish books but also take away from them and the kind of loss of that so it had a really good like interesting discussion on technology as well there's also a focus on the actual character of Mr Penumbra and he was like a very sweet kind of Dumbledore-ish old man and he's been trying to solve this mystery for years and years but he really get into like all this new technology so it's about bookshops and friendship and kind of careers and what you want to do with your life as well as technology and yeah I, I'm kind of struggling to talk about it because I do think it's good to go into it not really knowing a lot but I just absolutely adore this book I flew through it and yeah I already want to reread it because I'm already slightly forgetting things I gave it five stars and I absolutely loved it I think there was a lot of deeper meaning that you could get out of this book which I definitely want to do on a reread after that I picked up another five star book and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. you may remember that Amy announced that me and her were going to buddy read this in January and we did and it was so much fun buddy reading it with her. I'm still debating kind of doing a video wrapping up that buddy read and kind of my thoughts on the book in a bit more detail because, you know, it's a big book, there's a lot to talk about. But I do think this lived up to the hype. But I almost realised that in retrospect. So when I was initially reading it, especially the first, like, half, two-thirds, I was like, this is good, but I don't really get the hype properly. I was like, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's definitely, like, a solid four stars, but I don't get the whole, like, it's my new favourite book all that kind of hype but then the last like third of it I got really really into it really really into the characters I just sort of very slowly fell in love with everyone you kind of don't realize it's happening but I feel like I'm so attached to all of these characters now I absolutely love all of them and yeah the ending was just really really good and I would just really really recommend this series this book almost feels like a whole different series to the first one but there's obviously a lot of connections to the first book and what happens but in this book you see a lot of like mental health stuff with the main character Feyre getting over what happened in the first book as well as other characters talking about kind of difficult things they've been through there's a lot of just the great slow burn hate to love romance is just amazing like it's so well done it's ridiculous so i would really recommend this series and yeah this got five stars then after reading such a big book i wanted to pick up a few smaller things so i picked up graffiti by savannah brown this is her collection of poetry that amy got me for christmas and i did really enjoy this but i didn't i don't know i really enjoyed reading them but not many of them like stood out to me i did follow the corners of some that i wanted to kind of reread and stuff like that but I found them all a little bit samey none of them really stood out to me as like wow that's really like hit home but I do want to reread a couple of them and kind of properly like annotate them really get into them because I do really enjoy doing that with poetry but yeah it was good but I first impressions weren't like wow so yeah I give this like three and a half stars then I picked up my first book from my 12 books I want to read in the 12 months of 2018 TBR thing that I did I'll leave it above or below but that is 172 hours on the moon by Johan Harstad I'm a bit late to the game with this because everyone read this book about five years ago and was really hyped about it and initially I was not really enjoying it actually because it takes them a really long time to get to the moon and I don't actually think they're there for 172 hours it takes them a good half the book for them to actually get to the moon and it's kind of like 
I don't know, it was trying to build character and stuff, but I just felt like the writing really wasn't that good, or at least the translation. So initially I was kind of like, oh, this really reads like a bit of a cheesy YA, like the characters are trying to be developed and interesting, but they're actually really flat and boring. So yeah, for the first half I was really like, oh, the writing's so bad, I'm just not into this, and why aren't they on the moon? And it definitely picked up once they got to the moon, and it had a really, really interesting ending, which I loved. So it was kind of a mixed bag. I think I'd give this three and a half stars. It definitely wasn't a four stars, but I think the ending and the kind of second half of the book definitely picked it up from a three stars for me. And I would recommend it. I don't think it's as much of a fast paced read as I hoped. Like it took me quite a while to get into it, but it is a lot of fun and a very like creepy mysterious book. It kind of reads like a Doctor Who episode, which is always fun. And then I got the flu, so I was kind of stuck in bed, not really feeling well enough to properly read normal books, but also, bored out my head so I picked up Giant Days Volume 1 because I'm slowly rereading this series since I've acquired some of the newer volumes and I really really love this same sort of opinions as first time I think I give it four stars because I love how relatable it is in terms of their own English university and it's kind of just this strong female group of friends and it's hilarious but I knock off a star just because the humour feels a little bit forced sometimes like it's very very over the top it's not like realistic humour it's kind of very like out there and wacky and stuff that wouldn't necessarily happen in real life so sometimes it's kind of a little bit almost annoying and difficult to believe but overall it's a really really enjoyable series and I can't wait to carry on my reread and then I read my first ever manga with Orange Volume 1 by Ichiko Takano uh, he did the story and the art I've never read manga before so it took me a while to get used to like reading it back to front and everything but I don't I got it I got used to that within the first like fifth of the book but yeah no I really really enjoyed this again it was a little bit cheesy at times and the characters were a bit stupid at times when it's like, oh my god, I wonder who he fancies. And it's like, he obviously fancies you. Like, how are you not realising this? But it definitely hit me in the feels and I'm definitely picking up volume two next month because, oh boy, like, I can just tell, I don't know. I don't really want to give away the plot of this, but it basically, some of the main characters get letters from their future selves saying that they need to help save this boy in the middle because he, we find out that he kills himself in the future. So they're basically just trying to give him a good life and make him feel better and fix some mistakes that their future selves made in the past and stuff. So it's a really, really interesting concept. And this one doesn't really end with like a cliffhanger. It just kind of naturally carries on into volume two. So I still don't know what happens. But I just have a bad feeling they're not going to save him. But I don't know. It was really, really good anyway. Definitely. I think I gave this four and a half stars. And then for the past week or two, I picked up A Court of Wings and Ruin because where A Court of Mist and Fury finished, I was like, I really can't wait long to dive into this one. I wanted a little bit of a break because this is such a huge book and I kind of just wanted, you know, to read a few other things. But I had to jump into this pretty quickly. And I'm not properly wrapping this up because I have still got like 200 pages left. But I probably am going to finish it before the end of February because I'm filming this a few days early. I might even finish it today. Not sure, but I'm I'm probably going to finish it really soon. But I have also read 500 pages of this. So I've definitely hit my 1,000 page mark for the month. I think I've definitely got a lot over because orange is pretty hefty. But yeah, I'll wrap this up properly in March. But so far, I'm really, really enjoying it. So these are all of the books I finished reading in January and February. I'm averaging about three books a month. And so far, I'm pretty happy with my pace and what I've been reading. I've had a little bit of variety. And so far pretty much everything I've read has been really good so let me know down below how your first few months have been going with your reading if you've been reading some good stuff and let me know any of your thoughts on these books if you read them I would love to know and I will see you guys on the next video bye